Hi guys, we're going to continue with buffers and today we'll look into calculations. Now there are, well, there are basically four or five types of buffers they will test you on. The first one is here, right? Which we've done before, which is your carboxylic acids and your uh, carboxylic, sodium carboxylates, the salts, okay? The salts, this, this is a salt. This is your weak acid, okay? We will see all this on here. Secondly, of course, is uh, this on here, which is the blood system, okay, this on here. Your carbon dioxide and, uh, and water. Now remember, this is the main thing, for example, here. So if we talk about in the blood, right, they will talk about like HCO3, two mi minus, this is your carbon, hydrogen carbonate hydrogen carbonate. This can act both as an acid or a base. You can see later, okay? And this is a famous one. <clears throat> okay, of course it came from your phosphoric acid, PO4, all right? But uh, this one is asked a lot. This is your acid. This is your, well, base, conjugate base or the sodium salt. Okay, one, two, three. And of course, amino acids also they will ask because amino acids can acid on base. Okay, now, so let's look at one at a time, okay? Uh, I would look into this one first. Um, well, the blood system first, okay? The blood system. Now let's look at some examples of blood system. Huh? It's here, page four. You can see how they're being asked, right? The easiest is look at the blood system. Okay, yeah, here, right? So the CO2 dissolves in water to form a weakly acid solution. Weakly acid here, of course, it means your uh, carbonic acid, okay? Weakly acid solution. So this is your H2CO3. So here actually, like this one here, carbon dioxide plus water, to give you this your carbonic acid, okay? Carbonic acid, which is a weak acid. And we'll give you your H plus and some here, okay? So these two are synonymous, same. You can see later. So this one here will give you, of course, this one here. This is a reversible thing here, right? So write the equation for CO2 with water. So this is the one with water. And write an expression for the Kc. Now you can, see, they, now they, see, they, they want you to have, to show the weak, yeah? The weak acid containing the hydrogen carbonate, right? Okay? So they want to see this fellow here, all right? So normally this and this is same, okay? Right, they want to see the ion, which is, this is the, of course the salt la, or the base, the conjugate base, conjugate base. Okay, so you either write this system or this system. Okay, so let's say we write this system, okay, which means this is the equation now, okay, All right? Or you can write this system, this one here, which means which means H two CO three reversible H plus, but you must have this for like the hydrogen carbonate plus H CO three minus. Okay, so if you write this system here, right, this is your KC. See you now. This one here, and this one H plus, and of course this is CO2. If you have this system here, it will be what? It will be KC equals to, same thing, HCO3 minus, and your H plus here, okay, over, what? Over the, consider uh, HCO3, H2CO3, sorry. No. So you see the marking scheme, either one day you will give correct, okay? See, right, you can put this one here, remember the carbonic ion over the CO2 and water, or right, or over the CO2 and of course water here. Now, water is not included here because water is huge amount. So normally water is not included. So you must remember, don't put water, because water is such large, 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 large amount that normally it is not put inside here. So remember, it's just CO2 here, okay, see, right? Which means this one here. So CO2 here, okay? So here, carbon dioxide 
right? Top one here. So this, the, the water is here. Okay, CO2 plus water, sorry about that. Here, all right, and here. Okay, now this should be, this should be H down here. H2CO3. But this is such a, this is, this is such a small uh, quantity here. So normally, you know, they don't, they don't want to, they, they don't use it on here because it's a very weak acid. So you don't have to put the, with the water that fibrous is, uh, you can put, but it doesn't matter. Right? Okay. Now, how does it react as an acid or base here? Explain the role of the hydrogen carbonate ion in controlling the pH of the blood. Okay, so remember this is the one, this, this one here, right? So as a base, that means that if, if, your, if, if, if your blood is acidified, it will act plus the acid. So the base, right, except it give you this one here. Or what? Or CO2 plus H2O. See, that means that this, this system and this system is about the same. So I write both systems here, here. See, you give your carbonic acid or the water and CO2. Okay, so this now acts as a base, right? The hydrogen carbonate. Now, if alkaline solution in your blood, you will act as an acid. You will give, you will donate the H plus. You know, you know come out from water and your carbonic acid. Okay, All right. Okay, now another one. Uh, this one here, seventeen. I'm going to go through all of this one so easier for you, one show, okay? Right, 17 here. All right, now here. Right, equation to show how hydrogen carbonate, again, see this is the main deal, you know? hydrogen carbonate is in your blood, right? Controls the pH of blood. Again, uh, if, if, if your blood becomes acidic, okay, you would, then you, this hydrogen carbonate right with this one. Actually, uh, you know, you know why uh, after you know you exercise, uh, you pant. Uh, <sighs> it's called hyperventilation. That means you're trying to get rid of a lot of this carbon dioxide. Okay, so it's give it, give this this carbon dioxide the the green machine is That means the H plus will be less acidic, so your blood becomes less acidic. That's why, that is, that's why you hyperventilate. Okay, so now when your blood becomes basic, this fellow here will donate the H plus to give you the carbonate and so on here. Water and see down here, okay. Carbonate and water. So they just want want the equation, in, okay. Plus, I mean, this is the main deal. How they react, okay. All right. Next one here. One more. Twenty one. Do all the examples first, ah. Huh? Let me go each one. Each. Twenty one. Same thing here, right? Buffer solutions uh, are used to regulate pH of a solution to keep pH in a narrow, narrow range. Right? It's a small window of pH. Otherwise, your blood becomes acidosis or alkalinosis. It means your breakdown of your, of your proteins. The proteins become no more shapely anymore. They will break down. It means you will die. See? Or no more catalyst in, in your blood. All right? So now, let's look at here. Now, write two equations to describe how the hydrogen carbonate. I'm taking the time first, huh? Okay, how the hydrogen carbonate uh, and carbonic acid okay, control the blood system. Remember, here they use it, okay, because the carbonic acid is like HH2CO3 reversible, you know, okay, give you HCO3 minus plus H plus. Okay, so remember, this is your acid, this is a conjugate base, okay. So they can go up, up, up and down. So when your blood is alkaline, okay? So this fellow here will come in, in, into, into action. They want you to talk about carbonic acid. Not this one now, okay? So it depends on the question. Because this fellow here can act as a base or an acid, okay? So this one plus give you your hydrogen carbon here and water, okay? And if it's acid, this fellow here will, do, will act as a base, okay? Uh, will accept the H plus to become carbonic acid or carbon dioxide and water. See, either one they will accept marking C. Okay, see now. Right? So here the acid will give you your, your carbonic acid or carbon dioxide and water. If you alkaline, you will donate the H plus to here, give water and your hydrogen carbon. Okay? So the blood system is how it works like this. 
Now, the other one, of course, is your um, uh, hydrogen phosphate, okay? Now, let's look at some here. Um, page number two. Page two. Now, this is a very common, uh, common thing here. Okay. Now, in my notes, you can see my notes here, I talk about here. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, down here. Okay, I put down the whole system here. Right, see this one here. Now this system actually uh, uh, come from, this one here is actually sodium H2PO4, okay? It is so, I told you it's sodium dihydrogen phosphate. It's called sodium dihydrogen phosphate. Because there are two hydrogen there, hydrogen phosphate. Huh? Phosphate. You don't know. Huh? You don't have to know. You just have to recognize the thing. Only. Okay? Now, this, of course, here, this is an acidic salt. It's an acidic salt. Okay? Now, this one here, of course, it will give you, it will dissociate give you Na plus, which is a spectator ion plus the H2PO4 minus. Now, this is the main deal. Now, this by itself is an acid. Okay? Which means here, the H2PO4 here, right, will actually give you what? H plus plus PO4 2 minus H here. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So now, sir. So now this is the first thing. That means uh, if you if you got a mixture of this filler here plus so disodium hydrogen phosphate. Okay, now this is the this. To form the to form the, um, the buffer, this is your weak acid. This is your sodium salt of the weak acid. Put red color. Huh? I know it's time to get this, but this is called the weak acid. Okay, this is sodium salt of the weak acid. Sodium salt of the weak acid. That's not okay. So these two combined together will give you a famous buffer. Okay, so NaH2PO4 and Na2HPO4, right? So now this one, this one here, will supply, will supply uh, this. Okay, and this one here will supply. This one here will actually give you your H sodium put here number two, with sodium Na2HPO4. Because it is a salt, it will completely dissociate, give you two Na plus and plus your HPO4 minus. So plenty of this, which is same as two minus, sorry. Okay, plenty of this and plenty of this. So this two will make up the buffer. Okay, now, okay, right? So that's why it's written as this one here and this one here. Right now, how do they react? Very simply, watch ya. I'm going to go back there. Right now, uh, they give you this one here. Remember, this is the, they normally give only one equation. Uh, this is the weak acid. Okay, right. Now, secondly, of course, uh, is the sodium, I'm going to put here, the sodium salt of weak acid. So normally, as I said, uh, the, the sodium salt of weak acid is, one, is sodium, HPO4, which actually give you, right? The sodium will come out, give you HPO4 minus, two minus. So this is same as this here, okay? So the D1 equation to show you, ah, all right? This is how this will react, right? So now they say, now here, calculate the pH of the buffer that contains, right? Uh, 0 0.20 more of see now, sodium dihydrogen phosphate. Never see the two that means that this is acid. It's an acidic salt, but X is acid. And 0 0.1 more of your tin, disodium hydrogen phosphate. Okay, this will act as a salt. So these two together will form the buffer solution. Got it? Right? So remember in the mixture here. Sometimes they give one, it's, it's quite confusing now. I told you actually there's, there's two, isn't it? This one here, and of course, the second one, of course, is what? This is one here. It's a sodium. 
because they, they don't put the sodium here. Actually, it should be your Na here. Okay, so they will plus an Na here. So Na plus is, uh, don't care because it's a uh, spectator ion. You give what? This one is your HTO4. We give you one, one direction. You do Na plus or not, okay? Plus your HTO4. So to be exact on theory, this and this, they don't care. So this species here, which is also same as this species, but the main thing inside here, a lot of this one here came from the came from this salt. Because this filler here can only give you a small amount, but the weak acid is not. So this is a lot, see, from here. Okay. So this filler here is, is actually of what concentration? Of HPO4, two minus. This here, right, is of H. 2PO4 minus. Okay, this is the acid. So you must recognize. So once you see something, so oh, Na, NaH2OPO4, this is the acid. Okay, this is I put acid here. Oh, Na2HPO4, ah, this, this is a salt or this is a base. Okay, so remember we uh, come to the pH of the buffer solution. Okay, so this is the concentration of the acid, concentration of the salt. See now, right? Or the base, I can say this is the base. Okay, up to you. By salt, salt. Okay, so again, so I'm using blue color, very simple. So it's all mathematics now. This is the formula. pH of the buffer equals to pK plus possibly some miracles in salt so over acid. So once you identify, once you identify, right, which is the acid and salt, it's very simple. Really. So remember, put inside here two of the them, you just put, just put here the salt. This is the salt, is it? So here, 0 0.1 over on here, and voila, this answer. 96.90, okay? 6.90. See? Okay? Right? Now, another one, of course, same as this uh, phosphate, uh, disodium hydrogen phosphate is the three here, down here. Comes up quite often. Okay? Now, the buff here, the buffer used in pharmaceutical preparation in a, is a solution containing synap. So now, see, I told you already, you need to know all this, okay? This is called your disodium hydrogen phosphate. And you need a sodium the hydrogen phosphate. Now, once you see this, you say, oh, the H2 here, that means this must be acid. So I put acid here. So they switch things around so that you must recognize which is the acid and which is the salt. So there's only 100 here, that means this is, uh, this is the salt. Okay? Or the conjugate base of this conjugate acid. Okay? Right? So these salts contain this one here, of course. This is your two, two, uh, two negative here, which means came from came from here. Okay? This, this is the salt, or this is the base. Conjugate base. This H2, of course, is the acid. Lah. Okay, so how will they act as a buffer? So if, if uh, it reacts, the right equation to show this buffer reacts with H plus. So which one will react with H plus? Of course, the base then. Eh? So this one here. Okay, see so HPO4, two, power, two minus plus H plus, you get H2PO4 minus. You know. So it's an iron form, you know, don't have to always be you know, no charge one. Okay, OH minus, okay, you must act with the acid. Which acid? Oh, this is acid. So H2PO4 minus plus OH, you donate a H plus, plus a, uh, an acid is what is a proton bonus there. Do water and sun here, see now. You can see the marking scheme. Okay, now, see now, okay? Right, H plus here goes to your H2PO4 minus OH that takes away the H plus to get water and sun here, okay? So you need to practice it more often to get the hang of the sun. The so sodium dihydrogen phosphate and the dihyd disodium hydrogen phosphate. Okay, these two are very common one. Okay, now here, they yeah, of course ask you the calculation. Uh, a buffer so co containing equal concentration of both the two sodium phosphate salts, which 7.2. See, they didn't give the P, the Ka is not, right? But here you can find the Ka. So from here, equal concentrations. Then they say the second question. Calculate the pH, uh, see the pH for the first one is given. They call it the pH of the pharmaceutical preparation piece of the same thing again, containing now 0 0.002 moles per dm cube of this one here. So it's 100 here, that means it's the salt or the conjugate base. And the 200 here, that means it's the acid. You know? ah. So of course you use this formula here, right? This formula here, right? Two formula. But of course you need to know the Ka, because Ka is not human. So how do, how do you solve the second one? You use the first one. Okay, so pH is good to 7.2. pK, I don't know, but the salt and acid, same. See, you know, equal concentration means they cancel off. Log base and one is zero. 
So PK is equal to 7.2, you know. So it's a mathematical problem. Lah. So you can put it inside here. The second problem of pH you don't know. You put the 7.2 for pKa. And here, concentration of salt. Remember, South America, South America okay? South America. Uh, let's remember this. This is how I remember. Okay? So salt over salt over your, your acid or base over acid. Up to you. Lah. Okay? So salt, which is the salt? Look at here. Okay. One hydrogen salt. And this is the 0.02. Salt. Acid here. Okay, so 6.8, very simple, isn't it? Remember the minus sign here is minus a lot, huh? So 6.8, see? 6.8, okay? Right, so they see this, they put base here. Up to you one, okay? Right, all right, now next one here, uh, this is page four, then we go to page uh, 17. Okay, I do all some first, okay? So we can have a big deal of this. Okay, 17. Here, here. All right. Let me turn already, huh? Okay. A solution containing the N2 disodium hydrogen phosphate and sodium di is disodium, okay? Is it this one dihydrogen phosphate? Okay, see, once you know that the one H here is must be a salt, two H here must be acid. It's commonly used as a buffer solution and so forth. So, see, they give you only one equation, right? Normally, it's of the two way. Lah. Of course, there's one more, we use this one here, which they didn't give you, which doesn't matter one. Because NA2, I told you, you want to put it, uh, the theory wise, this will give you one direction, because it will dissolve or give you two NA plus, plus your PO4, what? Two minus, you know, okay? This, I know. Okay, sorry. Ah, yeah, the H, uh, it's like, okay. Okay, H here. Okay, so this and this same, right? So that, which means the, the constant of your HPO4 come from a minute from the salt. This is salt. Okay? So they say, well, here, this is your, this is your salt. And this is your acid. Two hydrogen, this is acid. Okay, calculate the pH of the buffer swimming from uh, 100 cm. This is very important now, now because uh, the volume here, plus this one, okay, you are diluting the whole thing, you know, okay? So remember, the constant must be half again, okay? which means uh, here, Plus here, here is, okay, now here is 100 cm cube. Volume, first one is 100 cm cube. Okay, right, of this is your sodium, disodium hydrogen phosphate. And this, your warm tube is equal to 100 cm cube. And this is, so, this is your sodium, dihydrogen, this disodium hydrogen, this sodium dihydrogen phosphate. Okay, you can mix them two together and give you a big container here of what volume? Ah, 200 cm cube. That's why the concentration will be half, is it, of the original concentration. So this is the original concentration 0.5 here, right, of the salt. Okay, so I put 0.5 divided by two, you know, because it's half, because the volume has increased. Okay, and your sodium, dihyd sodium dihydrogen phosphate is sodium hydrogen phosphate. So sodium dihydrogen phosphate, uh, you, you buy two, you know. So this one five here, no, three, okay? Because the total volume is 200. So same thing, you find the pH again, equation, okay? PK is a positive South America, going on here, soft, easy, busy, 7.43, 7.43, 7.43. Okay, right? So it's very simple, it's all calculations, but you must know the theory, of course. You know, theory you die, I tell you. Okay, next one is page seven, page nine, the last one here. Okay, last one here. Right here, oops, now here. Okay, so the phosphate buffer, they call it normally the phosphate buffer, operates in biological system cells. Why? Because the bones contain phosphate, ma. so uh, your, your, your body is contain carbon dioxide, ma. so these are the two, a very important one, okay? your HCO3 minus and your phosphates, H2PO4 minus, okay? And also your amino acids, all these are uh, your, your body has a lot of systems that can act as a buffer because your blood must have a certain range, I think some point something, okay? Uh, you go beyond that, uh, you die, you know, because I said the proteins get denatured under very acid conditions or very alkaline conditions, so you will die. That's why it's called acidosis or alkalinosis, okay? So, the, so your blood, 
must guard me your blood and designate to prevent it from, from escaping the window, a small window of pH so that your body works well. Because all your proteins, all your hormones, all your enzymes are proteins and, and the, 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 the shapes, all these things are due to hydrogen bonds, all these things. Yeah. So you break all these things and you die. Nah. You cannot have any enzyme. Your body will slow down and you cannot breathe and blah, blah, blah. Okay, the buffer contains di, see, you know, dihydrogen phosphate. Ah, two is not negative, which acts as acid. Okay, All right? So now they give this one here. Of course, I saw, I tell you, uh, they talk only, only one species here. Okay, but this one species, right, give you the other species. This is your, this is a hydrogen phosphate. This is called your, this is called dihydrogen, this is called hydrogen phosphate. Okay. Okay, phosphate ion. Okay, so these are the two things here. So write an expression for K, very simple. This one over this one, okay? So this water normally, they don't put down, no, okay? Because water is in excess. So you can see water is left up here. Okay, like I told you earlier, say water, it is a KC for what? Only time to put water for KC is what? Who can tell me? Is for you is for your esterification. Uh, you must water them because water is a very small amount. For esterification, this one here plus ethanol. We assume this one, this all is no water, no, it's all pure. Okay, liquid, liquid. Okay, give you an ester CH3, give you the ester CH3, COO, CH5 no? plus water. In this case, here, in only this case, your KC must water. Your ester and put water, must have water. Others don't put water because it's huge amount is included in the KC. Okay, your acid here and your alcohol here. This is the only case where water is must be there. Other case, tapaya, no need. Okay, so you can see here water is omitted. See, okay, there's a window. Uh, okay, water, so here, even though here, I don't want water. I'm going to put down for what I don't know. Okay, cancel it out. Okay, just to show you that they don't want the water. Water is only put when? When for esterification. Okay. Buffer meaning again. Uh, two equations to show how these two act as a buffer. Remember, you want the two of them. Okay, not just one of them, two of them. So this, of course, is the acid. This, of course, is the base. Okay, right? Sometimes they only give you one, no. Ah, then you have to do one up. You give two, it means both of them must show. So if an acid, if it's alkali put inside here, the acid further will give you off the H plus here. Yeah. Okay. Right? If, if, if it's acidic, this further here will give you off the acid, will accept it as a base. Right? Because proton acceptor. This X acid proton, right? Proton donator. Donor. Okay, so you can see here. Right? So the acid. Right, it will accept inside, give you some here. Okay, right. Now, you see, eh? I told you this one also can now. Uh, uh, the year phosphoric acid can. See, which means uh, this fellow here, this fellow here, right, can act as a base as an acid. Now, just let me show you, okay, like here. You see? Okay, now my first one, I think I don't jump again. Now, if, if a base added, your H2, this means the two is in, H2 is in, you will fall in. Okay, and this is the acid now, that is the base. Okay, to give you something here, H, HPO4. No, okay, right? Because now this fellow here, this fellow here, can also, same thing, still same. Right? Can also act, uh, act as a base now to take H plus to give you your phosphoric acid. Because why? See, there are three, there are, there are three steps, there are three KAs for phosphoric acid, H3PO4. You see, yeah? okay. Let's let me show you everything. Now. Okay, uh, you know, as, as you don't want to understand, then, then, then forget it. But you want to understand, I'm going to show you everything. Okay, so it's this, this is your minus plus H plus. Now this is your first equilibrium. Okay, why not first equilibrium? We we used to do this, no, last time or for the hydrogen group. Second, of course, is this fellow here, H two PO four minus can also dissociate. This is the second. This is your first Ka. I'm going to put uh, HPO4 2 minus plus H plus, you know. 
The third one, of course, is your HPO4 2 minus you your PO4 3 minus plus H plus, you know. So there are three Ka's, you know, okay? So Ka1, Ka2, Ka3, okay? So this is an acid. All these here are acids. Yes, uh, why? Because they are proton donors, yeah? yeah? Right. All these here are what? Base. Why? Because they can go backwards, uh, yeah? Right. And when they go backwards, act the, the, the proton acid. When they go backwards, you know, okay, go backwards, you know. So this fellow here, if it go backwards here, it means act as a act as a base. If it go forward here, it acts as acid. You know, okay? Same thing this fellow here. Right? If you go backwards here, it acts as a base. Right? You go forward here, act as an acid. So, so remember they are interchangeable, depend on what are they going to act with. So here you can put if H is if H is put inside here, I need a base to counteract it. Right? So who is the base? Of course, this is the base. Yeah. Okay. Right now. Here. Or, or this can be a base. Either one. So they cannot put you wrong. So if you know your theory, right? Doesn't matter. Because they say they, they give a choice right here. See? They give a choice here. Uh, okay. See? Here. This one here. See? They give two of them. This one here and this one here. Go and think about it again. Yeah. So these two here, this can act as an acid and a base. These two can act as an acid and base. See now, okay? So you can choose either one of them. Go and think about it, all right? Okay, but normally for easy sake, if it's one, if it's two H, H, uh, two H here, that means it's acid. One H as a base, so straightforward, lah, okay? Don't make life so difficult, right? All right, so here we are. Now here is the problem. Okay, the pH of many living cells is 7.4. I'll show you uh, many, many cells in our body is a 7.4 to 7.5, whatever. It's a range in the window, which means it cannot go over that. You go there, all your proteins will be denatured, all right? So here is this equation, okay? So this is the acid. This, 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 this I think is an acid, right? Proton donor. So it's a Ka here, K, okay? So, so calculate the value of the ratio Ah, of this thing must be to give a pH of 7.4. Very simple, isn't it? The ratio of the concentration, isn't it? So again, now there are two ways to go about it, okay? Right, two ways to go about it. I like to use this one here, but the marking scheme gives you this one here. Okay, never mind. Now, I'll show you fast way, of course, I like the fast way because you use formula. Man. Okay, pH is the pKa plus uh, posit uh, positively South America, okay? So this is the thing I want, the ratio X uh, salt. I must know, right? Now here, the value, okay? The, the, the value is inverse, okay? You must remember this. Which, now, which is the, uh, now this is the salt, you know, on H, it's the acid, okay? Salt over acid, so, okay? so you must look at this carefully, okay? This is the salt, this is the acid, H2, two here. So, correct, okay? Can I? All right. So pH is what's on here. Now a pK is given a K is given here, blah blah blah. And of course, I do the math maths here. A bit over here. I got the answer. Okay. The ratio is 1.59. The other way, which is the, the, the answer, the, the well, the marking same is here you gotta convert. All right. Okay. Now the pH here. Okay, the pH you convert the H plus here first. So the H plus, you can anti-lock it, you get the first concentration. Okay. And then you, you can introduce inside here. All right, H plus you got it here. All right, and the K you got it here. So you substitute this one substitute inside here. So this one substitute inside here. And then, then this is a ratio. Okay, All right. Some people find this easier. Okay, you get 1.59. Say, okay, 1.59 here. 1.59. Okay, around this value. Okay, All right? So, okay, we are done some here. Now I've uh, finished all this phosphate already. Now let's look at another one, which is your uh, amino, ah, your carboxylic acid, son. This is the common deal which we talk about, okay? 
base five. Let's start with the first one here. Okay. Now here. Uh, okay, here. All right. Calculate the pH of a buffer containing ethanol acid. So, yeah. Ah, this is the common one. Lah. Okay, which means this one here, CH3, COOH, and your sodium ethanol. Remember that, okay? Right? Your CH3, COO, and A. Remember? The first time we deal with it, okay? Right? So they give you the concentration here and the concentration here. Simple thing. Use the equation, pH, blah, blah, blah. Put inside here, substitute, get your answer. Okay? Right? Because now, uh, of course, you can. CK is given here, log PK, see on. Okay, so a lot of maths is involved. Okay, 5.07, 5.07, see answer. Okay, right. Right, now we talk about this already. Uh. I don't know why I talk about this. Uh, I guess, yeah, okay. Next one, calculation, uh, for, okay, number six, page six. Six, okay, here we are, another one. Okay, calculate the pH of the buffer form when, now this is very important. Okay, this one, this is our titration, okay. So in titration, you form a buffer, no? Okay, pH form when this 10.0 cm cube of one mole of NaOH is added to 10 cm cube of 0.25 mole of your item, is it? Okay, pH here. So remember, this is a titration or whatever. Okay, you put this into here, acid and base, now, right? Neutralization is in. So it give you this salt. Remember, this is a, this is a sodium salt of your weak acid, no? no? So here, of course, if if it if it was now these two are gonna put together, you know, these two, these two here, right? The volume is ten cm cube. Volume is ten cm cube. I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, so you have ten cm cube. This is your NaOH. V1 equals to 10 cm cube. Molarity equals to 0 0.1. And here plus also 10 cm cube of your ethanol acid. Okay, volume two is 10 cm cube. Molarity is different. It's higher, 0 0.25. Right so I put it together and form a solution here. Ah, of a total of how many, what, what volume a V3 is equals to? 20 cm cube. Ah, okay. So I want to find, of course, this is the buffer one well, because of the excess, you know, because why? One more, right? One more, you know, yeah. To be one more, you know. So I want to find how many moles of NOH is there. So number of moles of NOH is original before reaction. Number of moles of ethanol acid is not here. Right? I know that one more, right? One more, that means uh, 0 0.01 more. I'm going to use blue color. 0 0.01 more here, of course, we read with 0 0.01 more of this one here. Okay, right? To form the salt, 0 0.01 more. That's not. Moles only, huh? Now, of course, the unreacted one, of course, is 0 point of acid here, 0 0.025 minus 0 0.01, huh? which is this one here. So these are number of moles, you know? So no more. So I got my number of moles of salt, number of moles of unreacted acid. Okay, now the volume now is total how much? Volume is up, 20 is it? So, 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 here, so the concentration of my salt, I must now find 0 0.01 over 20 or 1,000. Okay, so it's 0 0.05 moles per dm cube. Okay, for my acid now, the excess acid, 0 0.015 over 20 or 1,000 is 0 0.75. Okay, 0.75 moles per dm cube. So I must remember the total volume is 20 now. Okay, the side is okay. So now, what is form is a buffer because I do a, a neutralization, but the salt form is a some sort of the weak acid, so it's a buffer. So again, it asks you what's the pH. Of course, I apply my equation, my formula. pH equals to pK, possibly log salt America. Okay, so this is my members most per dm cube, huh? 2.5 salt over 2.75. Again, I very easily match 4.58. 4.58 to this one, they will accept answer. Okay, so now this is number page seven, another one, let's go to page nine. Okay, 
this one here, we won't do this one here, so it's a bit tricky. Okay, here. All right, now it's a different acid, doesn't matter, it's still your carboxy acid. A solution containing tartaric acid is also a weak carboxy and, and it's sodium salt, you know, huh? so, and it's sodium salt, so, so, it's sodium tartarate, la. it's actually sodium tartarate, A-T-E. Buffer in prepared food dishes. Count the pH of containing 0.5 mole are the constant of your tartaric acid and 0.8 moles. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Same thing, it's very simple, isn't it? Right now, your K is given, so use the, again, formula, very simple. It's like formulas, formulas, formulas. Make sure you convert to minus, okay? Your KA here, plus this one here, 0.8 is your salt over this one acid, okay? So, answer is 3.24. See, 3.24. See, I don't want to get. Very simple. Uh. I tell you, very simple. Okay. The thing is, make sure you know how to use your mats. That's all. All right. This is page nine. Now, we should there are two more, three more. I'm 11, page 11. Okay. I'm trying to finish it for 15 more minutes. Okay. Another one. Also, of your carboxy, uh, your vitamin acid, propanol acid now. Okay. So, weak acid. The K is given. How the pH of. Oh, that's something done already. Uh. Okay. Now, here. Uh, same thing here. The buffer of F is prepared by adding 0 0.0300 more of sodium hydroxide. Okay. Okay. All right. And to 100 cm cube of so here. Okay. That means that means uh, they tell you well. Okay, I got here. The volume is fixed. Okay. Uh, I got the solution here. Really. What is solution? The solution, you see, the solution here. This one is the this is solution. It means it's a solid. Okay, see easier. So here the volume here is equals to one hundred cm cube. Okay, right. And of course the molarity here M one of your propanoid acid, which is C two H five C O two H. Yeah. Okay, which is 0 0.50031, three six figures, okay, more per dm cube. Okay, and I got here, what is this here? I got sodium hydroxide, which is 0 0.03006. See, they are very particular about accuracy. Okay, three six figures, huh? make sure. Okay, sodium hydroxide. Okay, I put inside here. All right, so of course, this direction here. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> of course, this will be this will be an excess. You want to form you want to form a buffer. Now. The buffer must contain what must contain the excess, which means must contain the the propanol acid and what and your sodium propanol is not C two H five C O O minus Na plus. Now. Okay, these two must be there. Way to form a buffer. So, okay, find the concentration. So, that's the more per cube that you must always keep in mind. All right, a proponent acid and your sodium proponent in a buffer solution. So, the first of all, first of all, you gotta find, um, well, how many moles of my propanol acid is that? Okay, how many moles of propanol acid? Of course, molarity I know is 0 0.5 here. V volume is 100, so this is the number of moles. Unreacted, huh? Okay, this is unreacted. Okay, and of course, uh, how many moles of NOH I put inside? 0 0.03, okay, of course, here one mole is to one mole. That means here, here I got how much? 0 0.03, here I got how much? 0 0.05, that means that this is excess, right? okay? So how much is from? First 0 0.03, okay? Right. So this is the number of moles of your salt form. Salt, it's a moles, right? right. And of course, the number of moles of ethanol acid is the excess 0 0.05 minus 0 0.03, 0 0.0 moles. Ah, now I must find concentration, no? okay? So over what volume? Over 100, uh, okay? Mer M is equal to N over V, is, you know? So the number of moles of your salt is 0 0.03 over 100 over 1,000 is 0 0.03. Okay, 0 0.3, uh, well, because one moles per dm cube. Okay, of your acid, 0 0.02 over oh, this one here, and 0 0.2 moles per dm cube. So these two answers are given here. Okay, so find the pH of the buffer simply. La. Yeah, just not so. Yeah. Again, formula, salt, okay, you got, you're given the uh, Ka. 
is okay. Okay, is it going here? 1.34 to the power minus five, okay. You put a log, make sure you don't use log, okay. And this is a 0.3, it's a salt, South America over the acid, okay. 0 0.5.05, okay, 5.05. Okay, here we are, correct. Okay, I think this is uh, 5.05. Okay, one last one, page 21, all right. Uh, of this kind of questions. Now, of course here, first of course is carbon, your carbon dioxide in water. Here's the one. K for ethanol acid is 1.75, the part minus five, blah, blah, blah. When ethanol acid is added to water, equilibrium contains two, okay, uh, 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 base and acid pairs of four. Okay, see now, all right? So equation of the equilibrium boxes below acid or base now, plus water, no, 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 okay? So, and dissolve in water, uh, equilibrium is four two acid base pairs. So water, okay? So this is proton donor, this one is not, right? Right, you go backwards, this is the base now, that was not. So a pair of conjugate pairs, two conjugate pairs here. Okay, a buffer solution was prepared by adding, again, the volume here, some alpha acid to, okay, again, if you want to put, draw diagram, it'd be nice. Okay, here and here, this is the acid, Base picture paints a thousand words. Okay, V1, and see how much you use? Huh? 30.0, I'll put 30. Uh. Okay, molarity here is how much? 0 0.25. Okay, molar. Here is what? V2, how much is it? 20 cm cube. What's the molarity? 0 0.15. Easy, isn't it? Same thing that you pass on, of course, you get volume is what? 50. Okay, right? V3, so remember. Uh, concentration, uh, change the volume, okay, 50, yeah, remember, remember, okay. So find the number of moles of acid originally, and we go, here is it, uh, so the, this is the original, this is unreacted. This also of your alkali base, also unreacted. Uh, so remember here is one mole, is very one mole. So here I got how much? This is 0 0.0075, you got how much? You got 0 0.003, or not this two. So which is excess? Obviously this is excess, not, okay? So this all reacted here, that means how much of this is from? 0 0.003, not. just one more to one more, okay? Yeah, so this, this is the number of moles form of your salt, okay? So like here, salt. So the number of moles of salt is on here, uh, the, because the concentration will be 50 or 1,000, not, okay? Because it's what? Uh, concentrate is equal to moles, Number of moles. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to hurry, man. Okay, number of moles. Number of moles over volume. Uh, no, number of moles over volume 51,000. So it's 0.66 moles per dm cube. Okay, so acid. How much left behind? So this one is unreacted minus 0 0.003 gives you 0. 0045, okay, over number moles over the volume 50, yeah, 50, yeah, is 0 0.09 moles per dm cube. Simple uh, now, so, so once you convert all the things properly, you must soak in Sydney, okay, pH for the pK, okay, positive loss, okay, you convert it, right, the minus log base, blah, 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 and says 4.58, okay, you don't do this, uh, don't do chemistry, drop chemistry, okay, 4.58. Okay, here, where, where's the, where's the answer? Where's the answer? Here, where's the answer? Okay, okay, 4.6, 4.6, okay, 4.58, around 4.6, huh? Okay, right, now we finish finished right here, now let's look at some other funny, funny ones. Okay, there are two I got here. Okay, let's try amino acids, okay? How does amino acids play a part, page 13, all right? Unless, of course, they ask you for equations of 13. Okay, got five minutes more. Okay, here you are. Amino acids such as alanine, uh, remember, they contains base part and your acid part here as a buffer. First equation, okay, two equations to show last trace. Okay, see, now this one, remember? Now, I, I, I normally, see this one, you hide this part. So expose these two parts here. So this is the base, <coughs> what's the lone pair here? This is acid, the, the H come out. So plus acid, so you will accept the acid. 
okay, will be here. Okay, so this is the one here. So plus acid. So that means uh, the pH will go up. If plus base, you will donate the H plus for water as well, okay? So remember, this is how it, it acts, okay? So quite simple, then. So one more amino acid page. I think, I don't know what page is it on. Page six, I think, okay. That's right, okay, page six here. Look at examples, examples. Okay, buffer, 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 buffer. It's a very simple one here. <clears throat> page six, right? Uh, I mean, this is a good buffer, term buffer, blah, blah, blah. Right equation to show how alanine behaves like a buffer in acid. Okay, let me say HCl. Okay, percent here, yeah, and of course, dot the Cl minus. Okay, right? So simple. Okay, no the theory. Lah. Okay, see now. The, the, the Cl is optional. The person put a bracket here. Now, the last two questions here are a bit different. Okay, 22. I took the questions until 2000, 2019, no. Okay, so it should give you a pretty good view. Now this one is, uh, well, now this is a bit dif different here. Okay, see I use mathematical expression to express for pH, right? Ka, now Ka uh, for which it means that HA, they want you to write this whole thing down. Now this answer, K goes to, you know. Now here, write equation to show how the buffer solution Consisting of HA, which is acid, and your acid. You know, uh, they always put one. Sometimes okay, only they use this one here. They don't use the sodium, but remember, weak acid plus sodium salt, weak acid is a buffer. Must have the sodium salt. Okay. So control space when acid is okay. But now remember, this is the acid. This is your conjugate base. Now. This, this, this one will give you what? Na plus plus what? A minus. This is the key one. Okay. This is just uh, what spectrum the ion. So it pays no work, this one here, okay? So remember, so when acid is added, is the Na, there's a, a, the A minus here, the, 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 they will act, the, they will act, give you this one here, plus N, Na plus, okay? OH minus the H plus will give you this one here. So remember, this is general terms, no, okay? See, the HA given out, so you see the marking schema? See now, okay? Right, so you can put, NAA or SA minus can also. So here must put the HA. Okay, general terms, right? So now the second one, of course, here is uh, this chlorine here. Now it's a bit tricky, the question. Sometimes you may not understand the question. It's too bad, lah. just give up. Lah. Okay, chlorine dissolved in water. So here, you done this, you would have done this already in your AS. Chlorine plus water give you two acid, your HO, your CLO, and your HCl. Remember now, okay? This is a disproportionation reaction. This, of course, is uh, plus one. This is your minus one. Chlorine is zero here. Yeah. All right, remember? If you don't remember, just too bad. It's okay. It doesn't matter. So, you got two acids here. All right, they put this separator just to trick you. Okay. When solutions of chlorine are used in water preparation, pH of the solution of chlorine is near, is nearly kept seven by adding a base. Ah, it means they will, you know, it acts like a buffer. Chlorine dissolved in water to, uh, to produce. Okay, I mean, remember here, it's produced, uh, it's, one, one, it's one liter here, that means I got one liter here. The volume is important because of concentration, okay now. So volume here is equals to 1,000 cm cube, okay. By right, containing, ah, 0 0.0, 0 0.17 almost of this one here, and same, you know, because why? One more, give you one more, is to one more, you know, yeah. So same, this is HCl actually, okay now, right? Buffer is, uh, so is then prepared by, by putting moles, I mean, this is a solid, no, see now, right? That means I'm putting inside here, this contain what? HClO and HCl. This is 0 0.170, this is also 0 0.170 moles, no? same moles, they tell you already. Now I put inside here, what? I put inside here, uh, 0 0.200 moles, of course, or H of NaOH, okay? Of course, this one first, they say, uh, they tell you, all right? Uh, NaOH, NaOH breaks initially, that means with HCl, that means plus, uh, no more, okay? Of course, in this case here, right? No, I put it I put here, oh, I didn't put here. Okay, that means this ratio, of course, is common one is NaOH plus HCl. Of course, one more to one more, so I'll give you NaCl, okay, which is neutral. So one more to so one more. That means here, how much 0 0.17? That means uh, 
out of 0 0.2, 0 0.17, right? Okay, so no more, it's a no more. So how much of any left behind? Huh? How much, how much left behind? <coughs> Okay, so the, the number of moles of any OH left behind, left, unreacted, is equal to 0 0.2 minus one. It's not, it's not here. Now this now will react with who? Will react with your H, uh, yeah, not very clear. Will react with your H, this put out. Now this one here will react with your HClO, right now, okay? Right now, huh? plus your any OH. I means here is 0 0.17. What's left behind is 0 0.03. So it will react to give you, of course, this further here, which if we uh, give you your, your Na, right? So uh, NaClO and your H2O, right? That means all this will be gone. All this will be gone. So this one left behind, how much? Left behind, how much? This one here, right? Zero point. Zero three, and how much is this farm? Huh? how much is this farm? Uh, sorry, sorry, um, I am going too fast. I mean, the time, the time, time. Sorry, this is how much left behind? Zero point one four. No? Here is zero point one four. Time already. Now mind. What's left? How much is this left behind? It's not here. No. It's zero point one four left behind. Okay. Right. So how much of the salt is from? This salt is from. 0 0.03, uh, because 0, 0 0.03 will plus 0 0.03, which one is the one? So this is the salt, is on here, the salt. This is your acid unreacted. So what's the pH? Can we have pH of this buffer solution? Okay, it means the buffer solution will be, all right, here, yeah. pH, here so. Again, I said it right here already. Okay, now this is the, this is the, um, this is the salt. This is the unreacted acid. Okay, so 0 0.03 over this one right here. All right, you can work it out. It's 1.6, 6.8. Okay. All right now, one last one. <laughs> I aim to finish. I will finish. Okay, this is easy. This is easy busy. Okay, here we are. Oh, yeah, it's not here. This is just explanation. Okay, solutions contain a mixture of nit nitrous acid. This is a blue color one. HNO2, which is not very stable, and your uh, nitrite is sodium nitrite, by the way. Sodium, which you've done before. Nitrite. Nitrate is NO3 minus. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Two equations to show contain this one here. Of course, this one will give you your, remember not, your HNO2. It's a weak acid, give you. H plus and NO2 minus your sodium nitrite. Sodium salt will, talk, will totally dissociate you what? Na plus plus what? NO2 minus. Oh, this is the main one and this is the main one. So, okay. so two, can you show how containing this one here and this one act as a buffer? All right. So you don't put the any there. Don't be idiotic. Okay. This, this, the, this is the main one. So this is acid plus base. You give the H plus, donate the H plus to here. You have nitrite, iron, and water. And this is your base, but say give this one here as well. So you can see here the answer is this here. Okay. So remember this SCA plus give the water, some to you. Okay. Okay. Good. We have finished buffer. Now the next one I'm going to talk about, we're going to study is on titration and titration curves. I'll try to do it tomorrow or the next day. Okay. So goodbye and uh, continue to plan your work, okay? You don't work your plan, then you die, you fail. You all should get A stars and A's. I work so hard, you have to work out, it's a disgrace. Bye-bye.